charge and blast. It doesn't get more descriptive than that. And this is a game I've never even heard of. Not not at all. Never heard of it in my life. Uh, exclusive to the system. Great name. It, it, I'm assuming it's a shoot 'em up. And if it isn't, it needs to be deleted under the trade descriptions act, really. Straight to easy. So that I can blast in peace, hopefully. Johnny Rock. Pamela Hewitt or Nicholas Wood. We'll go with Nicholas, I think, just because uh, I like the, the look of his mech or costume. I don't really know what you'd say. The City of Nest. Okay, so here we go. I'm some sort of robot dude. And there's massive ant critters. Whoa. How do I move? How do I shoot? Oh god, this isn't starting well. Okay, so that's the charge of the name, I'm guessing. So I can't move forward, to be clear. I know that looks weird. All you can do is go left and right, like strafing. On some kind of boost. And it looks like you can't just shoot. I can't just hold a, a, you know, a button down and shoot. I have to charge to blast. The name is so true. Fair play. It is fully committed to its name. Very unique control system. Um, massive feelings of Earth Defense Force. If anyone's ever played that, very similar in terms of graphics and the enemy design. But yeah, very unique game. It's almost like a, a rail shooter, like a light gun shooter. But um, strange, but then they're coming towards you, obviously. So there's almost like a Space Invaders vibe in that regard, too. You know, I, I'm strafing left and right at the bottom. They're coming towards me. I've got to shoot them before they get to me. Um, weird, weird game. Time up, so I've failed. That's great. We'll, we'll continue, though. Now that I've got the idea, this is a game I've never heard anyone even mention before. So that's fun in itself. Oh, we've got flies now, or giant mosquitoes. And they're, they're firing green blobs at me. Oh no! Yeah, what a unique game this is. And you know what? It's quite fun. It probably looks really sort of annoying to control, and it kind of is, the fact you can't move around, but that's what makes it different. So I, I respect it, really. If I could just run around shooting it, you know, at, at will, it genuinely would just be Earth Defense Force, but as it is, it's a very arcadey uh, shooter. Or, like I say, it almost feels like a light gun game with a shooting gallery coming at you. And yeah, it's good fun. Not going to win any awards, um, but nothing wrong with it at all. Oh, I think we've got a boss that's laying its eggs. I've got to hit the shield generator on it. Okay. You have succeeded in destroying the shield generator. Come here, you. Yeah, it's a fun little game. I'll charge and blast. I couldn't find out very much about the game at all, really, online beforehand. Um, came out in the year 2000, as I say, it was exclusive to the system, and, and that's about all I can tell you other than the, the developer. Whose name I've already forgotten, but I have typed it on the left. And it was someone I'd never heard of. So we've beaten the first level. Damage on the stage meter. Okay, so it looks like you may be graded on how much damage you do to the city. Party on the beach. Okay. Your energy will run out in 50 seconds. So uh, my mech can go on sand as well as tarmac. That's useful. And I'm now being attacked by a giant trout. Terminate all enemies within the war zone. <laughs> it certainly doesn't take itself seriously, this game, which is good because nor do I take myself seriously. This is a game I will provide you with an I'm really cell. enjoying. What is that thing? The, the enemy graphics sort of remind me of House of the Dead. 
Blade uh, 2, in a way. Very similar look. Also plays a little bit like... Um, God, what were it called? There was a game on the on the Vita. Um, I think it was free, actually. I, 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 at least I hope it was. I really hope I, I didn't pay for it. It was called Get Off My Lawn, or something like that. And you played this, basically this old man uh, with a shotgun and aliens were coming towards him. And it does play a little bit like that. It's a game I've totally forgotten existed until this moment. Looks like we're fighting Godzilla now. And the trout are still coming at me as well as Godzilla firing fireballs at me. Yeah, it's um, it's a surprising game. This I didn't know what to expect. The name is both descriptive and in no way descriptive. Like I, I, I had genuinely no idea what to expect. I didn't research the game at all, bar looking up who made it and when it came out. I had no idea of the type of game or how the gameplay was. And um, yeah, I'm I'm finding it very unique and surprising that it doesn't get much discussion because like, like I say it's a Dreamcast exclusive um, can't play this anywhere else so it's surprising that nobody's ever said anything about Charge and Blast Mission 2 down I took up I took out 10.5% of the beach area though not as good and the third mission is under pressure so it looks like I'm underwater Energy will run out in 50 seconds. Okay. Well, there's going to be a lot of trout on this Enemy one. Yep. Terminate all what a surprise. I'm going to fight a giant one at the end. Because there is always a bigger fish. As we were taught by Qui-Gon Jinn. Oh no. I've only got one life. Maybe two, it depends I suppose how it how it goes in terms of giving me lives when I die. This one's taking some hitting, it just keeps strafing left and right. There we go. And there I am speeding away. That's two Phantom Menace quotes in about 40 seconds. It's gotta be some sort of record for a review of Charge and Blast. So I've got to try and avoid with my my charge weapon or whatever you want to call it hitting the refinery in the background. So that's quite another cool little thing within it. I'm trying to hit that on the floor on the right as well. The, the yellow thing, I can't tell what it is, but I'm on my last life here. I, I, I feel like there's been stuff I've hit in the side that's given me power-ups and health. So I've been trying to hit that. Not too much effect, I don't think, but... Um, don't know what it is. I can't tell. I think, oh, I'm blowing up the building. Look at my life. It's so, so little. Come on, I just want to at least see the boss on the level. If nothing else. Is that life? That on that? What is that yellow thing? I'm determined to hit it. Right. I definitely hit it then and it's, it's done nothing. Five seconds to kill this guy. Literal nick of time there. Oh, so the boss is a giant squid or octopus. So with my health being as it is, it's highly, highly unlikely I'm going to be able to beat the guy. But at least we got to see what he looked like. So this one's actually laying some sort of mine in front of me. So I can't strafe left and right without getting damage if they're there you see so a little bit of extra little bit of extra uh, strategy it's a good, good little game it's not, nothing spectacular game over but yeah I've enjoyed my brief look there at charge and blast a good solid arcade shooter for the Dreamcast and I recommend it